Wow, you can see those waves kind of rolling on in, but really beautiful day. Winds picked up a little bit and uh, helped to scour out some of the skies. 68 in Santa Maria, 71 San Luis, 84 in Paso Robles right now. What a difference a day makes. Yesterday it was very warm, near 100 degrees. 69 in Lompoc and in Santa Barbara. Seven day forecast at the bottom of your screen. And by the way, 10 day forecast, plenty of hourly forecasts and more available on my weather app on those stores for your various devices. Winds right now, like I said, there's a bit of a breeze. It's stronger than yesterday. 18 in San Luis, 15 right now in Paso Robles out of the southwest a cooling direction for North County. And again, that was kind of the order of the day. 77 in Santa Barbara, 82 Santa Inez, Cuyama, 86, 74 in Goleta for the high and 62 in Morro Bay. Paso just 89 degrees, 64 at Bismo, 78 in San Luis, 79 Santa Maria, and 70 in Lompoc. I think inland temperatures continue to cool. Here's why. This trough across the west will continue to dig, so more cool air will drive into the interior. In fact, night and morning low clouds at the coast, which is pretty common, but the depth of the marine layer may allow some of those clouds to be around tomorrow morning inland. The rest of the country pretty quiet with the exception, of course, being Florence, and we'll talk more about that coming up. This is that big trough feature that's going to keep the weather cool for a couple of days. I think bottoming out as we get into Friday and Saturday, warming just a hair over the weekend back into the mid 80s inland. Not a lot of change at the coast, but we still have another trough for next week, so we're not going to see a return of any really cloying kind of heat inland. Florence has weakened a little bit down to a 115 mile per hour sustained wind, but it's still going to make a landfall. Local time here is going to be late tomorrow night. Time for the East Coast is going to be early on Friday morning in the middle of the night, potentially. So it's not only the fact that we're going to see these strong winds up to 50, 60 miles per hour for a multi state region, it's that we're going to see up to 30 inches of rain. 9 to 13 foot storm surge and it's going to linger for days. This is a potentially very catastrophic storm for the East Coast. It's going to linger through the weekend into early next week as well. It's not the only game in town. There are a couple of their tropical systems and this one out by Hawaii, Olivia, which has been providing some rainfall for Hawaii today as a tropical storm. So again, tomorrow kind of bottoming out on temperatures, lower 80s in Paso Robles, Santa Maria hourly. You can see winds back up in the afternoon of 15 to 25 miles per hour. Again, some early cloud cover tomorrow, but really most folks are going to see a really beautiful weather day. Let's take a look at this forecast here. Overnight lows for most will be in the 50s, 40s inland. And for the South Coast, 60s overnight and then back up into the low 80s tomorrow. Low 80s for Paso Robles, but plenty of 70s to be found tomorrow. Solvang, Los Alamos, Orchid all in the 70s. Vandenberg, 66 degrees. Again, with that breeze out of the northwest much of the day, it's going to hold beach temperatures down a bit, but just away from the beach, you have a lot of the low 70s. Really nice number. And I think low 80s are a nice number for the interior valleys. Here's the extended forecast. Temperatures just kind of hover along. Maybe a little boost on those temperatures as we get into Sunday, but next week I think kind of holding steady. Paso Robles in North County bottoming out at 80, 78 here on Saturday before warming just a little on Sunday and Monday. In San Luis Obispo, 75. That's pretty good. Kathy Scott, back to you.